G'day, I'm Dane Hamilton from Hamo Surfboards, Gold Coast Australia. Live on the Goldie for about 22 years, been shaping Hamo Surfboards for about 17 years. The Death Proof, it's a board for good waves and hollow waves, waves with a lot of push, so it has a high nose entry, a little bit wider point up front for that paddle power, but has a nice slow tail lift, so with a lot of drive and speed through your turns and a lot of hold. It's a really good board for Snapper and Kira and Diva, which is where I live a lot, so it's a great board for Cool and Gator Board Store, it's been selling really well. Oh. I'd probably have to say I'm the biggest pest out there. <laughs> or maybe Dean Dingo Morrison, he's a full pest. <laughs> oh, my dad has owned surf shops and shaped his whole life, so I've kind of been brought into it, so I've been lucky like that. My dad's a really great shaper. It's the uh, magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> the magic wand is just the go around, make your rails really smooth, your bottom, it just seems to, I've been using it for a long time, I got it off DHD when I used to work for him, he used to use the wand a lot and it seems to work really good. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, my dad's been really influential as he's been a hand shaper and taught me lots of stuff. But I've also shaped for Simon, DHD, JS, and do a lot of work with Terry Fitzgerald, so lots. I really look up to a lot of the older guys, and MR's amazing. Dane Reynolds, he's my all-time favourite. Definitely surfers. They're precious little things. <laughs> I like shaping all, but I really like to shape a high performance board where you're using your rail a lot. High performance is definitely my favourite. I love PU boards in good waves, and at the Gold Coast, PU is probably the best, but Epoxy EPS construction is great for wave pools and smaller waves. The flex patterns are amazing for that sort of stuff. Yeah, I always thought that was a real funny one, but when I lived with Dingo, and he was getting a lot of boards from Merrick, JS, everyone, he'd every time pick up the board and go, no, yes, leave it. And I'd always say, how the hell do you know that? And then as I got older and started making a lot of boards, you kind of do know when you put it under your arm. Making boards for myself and mates and surfing. I love to make my own boards and just go surfing and it's the best thing of all. Done. Done. Thank you.